Hello everyone, Jawtooth here again, and today I'm in Tip City, Ohio. It used to be called Tippecanoe. This is just north of Dayton, and we're on the CSX Toledo sub. They still got the old Baltimore, Ohio railroad signals. They even got a dwarf signal right here. This is really cool. Look at this. Now this track that I'm standing on is kind of rusty. It hasn't had a train on it for at least a, a week or so. There's your little dwarf signal. Got one light burn out on the left. These are still in use. That's what's neat about it. There's an old Baltimore, Ohio color position signal right there. And they're showing a clear signal. We've got a train coming. We've got a southbound lined up right now. So we've got a, a train coming, son. Go ahead and start the video. Here we go. Got some live action coming. All right, we got a train coming. This is a pretty interesting railroad crossing. You got one-way traffic on here. So on this side, you got a cross buck, cross buck protection, and you've got gates, lights, and bells on the other side of the crossing. So that's kind of interesting. And here comes the train. Live action. Never know. Three oh four South. There they go, on the Toledo sub, headed towards Cincinnati. Let's have a look at this, the track right here by, by the road. Okay, you've got 136 pounds per yard, made by Mitel USA, rolled in 2005, about nine dashes, that'd be September. So rolled in about September 2005, 136 pounds per yard. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. That was pretty cool. All right, here's some more of those color position lights right here. We got another one. Check this out. Right here in Tip City. See right there. That is neat looking. Looks like something on my train set. Also, that train that we just filmed that just went by, I filmed that earlier in Troy, Ohio. And I'm going to show that after this train goes by. We'll show that at the end here. I filmed them doing a reverse move. They're doing some switching in Troy. So here comes this train. Let's keep the video going, son. Be a good one.
was a long one. Man, that thing was huge. It's got the traffic all backed up here. They also have a nice little train station right over there. Let's have a look at that over to the Depot Park, Railroad Depot Park. Ah, oh, but wait, there's more. Of course there always is. Just wanted to show you this. Old Baltimore, Ohio freight station. Is that cool looking or what? All right, let's go ahead and show that video over there in Troy of the first train. They were doing some switching work in Troy. So go ahead and roll that video, son. Here we go. Here comes a train shoving across the road right now. He's trying to see the signal over here. These signals, they are hard to see. Got lucky to catch that local shoving across the road. Can you hear me? Woo! Loud here, son. It's loud in this town. That was pretty neat, though. There they go, shoving on down. Shoving on to the main line. I was trying to get that light switching from green to red. I don't know if I got it or not. Probably not. That's really hard to do. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you have time, watch another video. We got Norfi, we got Chessie, and the slideshow. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Hi, kitty. Okay, there's Chessie begging. Whoops, doing more than begging. She wants my yogurt. All right, let's see if you like it. Have at it there, puppy. She loves yogurt. Hey, how's that yogurt doing? It's a hit. You are hard.
hard to film, Jesse. Hi, Jesse. There she is. She's about done with it. <laughs>